Radio.com. Ben Davis, Kelly K Show. So when you have an issue and you don't want the opinion of the people that are right around you, because maybe you can't even talk to the people right around you, and you got to go to someone else, you just message us, the Ben and Kelly Show, and we'll toss it out to our listeners and see what we can do for you. It's called group therapy for a reason. We're here for you. Yes. Good morning, Ian. Hey, good morning. What's up? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for allowing us to contact you. Will you walk us through what you sent us? Yeah, so, um, I mean, I mean, I may have got myself into a situation with my boss, and I just need advice on what to do with it. All right. Okay, so here's the back story. Our office has been working remotely since last March. Uh, obviously, there's like a lot of other offices. Right. And uh, a couple months ago, there was a presentation that was preparing for my boss. Um, over the course of several weeks, she and I spent a lot of time on it, uh, mostly on the phone and on Zoom. Mm-hmm. And so uh, when it came time for the presentation, she invited me to be on the Zoom meeting with her. And, you know, we killed it. We did very, very well. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. And, mm-hmm. you know, she and I got a lot of praise, and we left the meeting feeling incredible. Right. So, uh, like I said, that was a couple months ago. So after the big presentation... I get a call from her, uh-huh. uh, my boss, just congratulating me on my work, and we should celebrate the big win. So uh, we meet at a restaurant, just uh, a normal restaurant and bar, um, yeah. something nonchalant. You know, we have dinner and drinks, and uh, the whole time it feels like we were on a date in oh, a way. Really? Rather than like you're out with your boss, it feel, felt a little bit different. Yeah, 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 and it, it wasn't even a romantic place, it was just... No, we just felt like a date. Right. Like it's, yeah, you know, a lot of laughs, and we just hang out. I mean, everything was completely professional at the same time mm-hmm. uh, for a portion of the time. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it was professional until it wasn't, basically. Right, right, right. Okay, <laughs> okay, what happened? <laughs> yes, okay, so one drink led to two, then, you know, two led to three, then three led to four. Sure. And we wound up getting into an Uber, and we went back to her place for a nightcap. Gotcha. So uh, we wound up celebrating uh, the big win all night and the next night and for several more nights. Okay. So, all right. You know, <laughs> uh, one thing led to another, and now we've been seeing each other casually for about the past month or so. Okay. So I, I guess what what is your issue here? Well, I, I mean, so basically we get a notice from our company. And uh, we're all going to go back to the office next week. And, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of freaked out because, like, now I'm kind of, like, seeing my boss. And, I, you know, like, we're very, I mean, I, I, I'd say affectionate. Uh-huh. Uh, but, like, it, it'll be hard to hide things uh, in, in a, in a um, professional setting. Like, it'll be hard to, right. like, uh, you know, like, eye contact and, and all that. It, it's going to get out, basically. So, I mean, I'm kind of freaking out because now I'm seeing my boss and I'm worried he'll get out. And, I mean, it was easy to keep everything quiet when we were remote, of course, but I got this point, I don't even know how to act <laughs> in a social setting. So, I mean, I guess my, 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 that's my issue, and I'm just wondering what to do or what you would do. Ian, you've heard the phrase, don't dip the pen in the company ink, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, many times. Okay, all right. Just, but, I mean, that doesn't apply here, obviously. But I tell you what, we, we've got a lot of people already texting in, 502-571-9970. Would love to offer their opinion on how you should move forward. So if you hang out and you want to uh, hear what other people have to say, that's what this is all about. Okay, Ian? Yes, yes. Thank you. All right, thanks, Ian. Yeah, Amy kind of echoes that thought. Uh-oh, did they never get the memo about not ever dating someone you work with because it can lead to disaster, especially your boss? And then Michelle was like, and I thought the story was going to be about her boss taking all the credit for the presentation. How naive of me. Keep it, prof- <laughs> <laughs> Keep it professional only at work. The second that there is a suspicion that something more, one or both of you will be scrutinized. If you can't be professional, break it off. Now, coming from someone who did date an employee, but not, you know, it turned out to be my wife. You know, it all worked out, but we met she at work. She was a peer, though. She yeah, she was a your peer. Boss, You're right. right. You're right. Yeah. She that that dynamic was not in 
in play there. So uh, 502-571-9970 or at Ben and Kelly show. This is group therapy. Group therapy. So we spoke to Ian. I mean, I mean, I may have got myself into a situation with my boss, and I just need advice on what to do with it. Mm-hmm. May have gotten myself into a quote situation with my boss naked. by <laughs> by discussing things naked with her many, many times. We were just working like at, at overtime mm-hmm. uh, a little bit, and now that we're going to be headed back to the office, they're a little afraid that he can't keep that quiet. And yeah, it might cause some problems. Yeah, I mean, I get it. When we're all working remote, sure. It's easy to keep that stuff a secret, but I, I, you know, in looking at some of the comments and everything, I'm kind of worried about the boss. Like she is, she's put herself at risk. Oh, absolutely. If it comes out, I mean, that could be seen as like an abuse of power or anything like that. And, and so Susie points out rule number one, never get your honey where you make your money. (laughs) <laughs> this is true. <laughs> end it while you're still casual and can end it on a good terms. If things go south with her being your boss, she can make your life a living hell. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, go to HR and see what is, you know, the policy around that sort of thing. But I, I like HR is there to protect the company. So in the case of HR, it goes, especially if Ian is underneath the boss, giggity, that... <laughs> That he's going to be the first to go, and then it's going to be the boss to go, and then so it like goes up. Am I wrong yeah, on that? Or? Possibly. Yeah. Uh, I don't Jennifer know. said, talk to her about what y'all should do once you go back. If she wants to continue or hide it or dump it completely, let her make the choice, and she's your boss and should know what she is allowed to do. And then Jenna is all like, she gives like a full on step by step on mm-hmm. what to do. So <laughs> she's she says, done okay, this. Number one. She has done this. <laughs> yes, she's, she's got, I'm going to lay this out for you. Listen, let Review me tell your you. employee manual. Right, right. See what it says about office relationships. Number two, think about what you want from this relationship. Or if you want it to continue before you, number three, Talk to your boss about what she wants and yeah. make sure you're both on the same page before you start back. And number four, if you all keep going, be professional at work. And yes, report it to HR if you need to. This is so new, so you'll want to make sure that you're willing to go through what may happen if you keep seeing one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah, you're you're right. Like, I feel like, and I feel like he's already had conversations with her. Other, otherwise, you know, he wouldn't have come to us, but... Well, yeah, I don't, but Maybe I, I, I'm wrong. clearly hasn't like broached the subject of, okay, is this still going to continue once we head back to the office and how do we do all of that? And I get it. That's a tough conversation to have. It you, is. You know, like, hey, what are we and what is happening here now? You know, yeah, the what are we conversation is, is always awkward right. to begin with, with any relationship. But then when you add in the dynamic that she is your boss, that's like a whole other level. June is like, sit down. Have a conversation with her. Gah! Why is it so hard to just discuss something with someone and not have every Tom, Dick, and Harry's opinion on it? <laughs> <laughs> is she calling me the dick there? I, I'm not is sure. She? I think or I the Harry. Uh, am I a Harry? I'm not sure. But <laughs> either know. way, we wouldn't have a segment, June. <laughs> um, well, Ian, regardless of what happens, you'll have to follow up with us on how everything goes next week when you get back to work, you know? Yeah, I think, you know what? We should land on, really, Jenna's, like, step-by-step there. I think we need to first. <laughs> First and foremost, she laid it out she like, with a PowerPoint presentation. If they, I feel like we talked to the boss first and we're like, listen, our relationship has evolved. Uh-huh. So as we head back into the office, what does that look like? I mean, and how, why is Ian, the employee, saying this to the boss? The boss should be the she's the one in management. She needs to be like, uh, yes. all right, Ian, come have a seat, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Put your clothes on. Let's Sit talk. on yeah. mommy's lap. No, wait. Yeah. Oh wrong, wrong. No. <laughs> wrong. No. Can't start it that way. All right. Uh, if you've got a comment and you weren't able to get through or whatever, at Ben and Kelly show, it's up there on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, we would love to hear because now we're all invested uh, what happens next week when you all head back to work. So that is group therapy. Thanks for listening to the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Come back tomorrow for a brand new episode. episode. Only from 99.7 DJX. Brand new episode. Brand new episode.